What's good YouTube? Target here and welcome to another episode of Design and Manage, my City Skylines and modded Let's Play series. On the last episode we have done a bit of development in our suburbs and today I think we can expand the zoning of the city, uh, perhaps work a bit more on the suburbs and also on the island and maybe if we have a bit of time I also want to touch on the um, amusement park that we have in the central location of the city. So without further ado, let's jump right into action. Okay, so starting off this gameplay, we can see that we have a bit of demand for industrial and also some uh, commercial. So what I think I'm gonna do is go to our um, island that we have right over here. And I think I wanna zone a few more offices. I think I'm gonna expand the zoning of offices up to this ring over here. I do not want to um, overzone this area because, as I've mentioned on a previous episode, I want to uh, turn this into a leisure spot. So there's definitely going to be a lot of leisure buildings, such as unique buildings and monuments, and also some um, leisure specialization commercial. But for the time being, I think I just want to zone a few more um, IT cluster office buildings. So let's just um, start doing that. And I think I'm gonna zone this entire area with that particular type of zone building. Alright guys, the IT buildings have completely developed and this gave me the opportunity to think about the strategy for this particular island. On contrary to what I've just said regarding the zoning, I have made a couple of modifications to my plans. So as you can see, this is the IT cluster district and I think I'm going to expand this district all the way until here, until this um, small circle that you can see over here. And this entire um, pizza slice, as you call it, will be dedicated to IT offices and also some um, unique buildings that I might place uh, on these uh, big areas such as this one and also this one over here. And then I will make uh, some additional districts uh, that will pretty much be dedicated to these areas and these rectangular areas over here on the sides near the, um, the pier stops. And I will also make an additional district all the way over here next to this uh, gigantic roundabout. And these three districts will be dedicated to not only a leisure commercial but also tourism. I think this is a combination that works extremely well in this game, which is uh, putting leisure buildings next to tourism buildings because they are mostly used by one type of people, which are tourists, of course. And given that this area is going to be the area dedicated to the airport, I think this is the perfect location to do this type of combination, as well as putting some unique buildings to boost up that tourism. So, given that we have a lot of demand for commercial and industrial, I think that's something uh, we can do right now in this episode. Perhaps we can uh, start working on this uh, specific area, this specific rectangular shape, and maybe boost up the demand for a residential and then finish up the episode by uh, completely developing um, these suburbs with some residential. So without further ado, I think I'm gonna make a, this particular district, so I'm gonna zone it right now. Alright guys, I have successfully made the districts, uh, one for tourism and the other one for leisure. I'm not gonna name each uh, one of these to a specific follower of mine because um, I still don't have the name selected, I still haven't chosen the, the, the persons I'm going to name these districts after. Uh, I'm definitely going to do that on another episode though. What I am going to do is provide it the uh, specializations. So this one is going to be the tourism, uh, simply because the buildings are quite higher. And this one will be dedicated for uh, leisure. So I think this will be an extremely good combination that will also look good uh, with each other. So I think uh, now that we have these um, zonings defined, I think you can start uh, plopping some buildings. And I know for commercial specializations the density pretty much doesn't matter because the buildings look the same regardless of whether you choose low, uh, low density or uh, high density. But for the sake of, of telling these apart, I'm going to zone uh, my offices 
uh, not my offices, my tourist buildings with high density commercial, uh, my leisure buildings with low density commercial, just so I can tell them apart from far away without uh, being in uh, the district view. So I think you can finally start zoning um, some buildings, so I think I'm going to provide this entire thing with some low density commercial, I think this is the uh, leisure, yes it is, perfect. And I also want to start zoning some offices, which will be pretty much located right about over here. And we cannot forget about water, so let me just pipe this entire thing and then we'll watch the buildings grow. Okay guys, I've let the game run for a while and the buildings over here have completely developed. You also saw me zone some industrial buildings at about this particular location and uh, I think that's gonna be very good in diminishing the industrial demand even though it's still quite high. Uh, of course this area is um, running into a bit of traffic problems but of course I'm gonna remodel this entire area in the future. Uh, specifically this road over here and uh, for the time being what I think I can do to force this uh, industry to level up because as you can see it's only at level 2 is give it a few more services so we're definitely going to need uh, some bus lines so I think that's something we can address uh, right about now and uh, before I even do that let's remodel this area um, I can see that this road has a lot of intersections that will create a lot of traffic problems so what I'm gonna do is delete these particular connections and I think I'm gonna leave this one and what I'm gonna do is just continue the road all the way up to here and these ones as well very good and hopefully None of this will get destroyed. This will all be zoned. Okay, pretty good. And uh, I wonder if I should do this. No, let's not do that uh, just yet. For now, let me just zone everything with industry. Make sure all of this is zoned. Okay, pretty good. I also want to put in some quick pathways. Let me just disable the guidelines. And make some paths that connect um, to these roads, to these dead ends, so to say. There you go, pretty good. And I also want to make some connecting points over here. Another one over there, and a couple more right about over here. I think I can even do a better job at reducing intersections by doing something along these lines. So. If I connect uh, this road over here and also this one over here and if I delete these two segments I think this will be even better with traffic. And now that we're at it I think I'm gonna start uh, by making some bus stops. I think I'm gonna make one line starting at about over here and this stop will be extremely efficient because it's right next to a dead end and it provides access to this entire area because of the pathways that I have just made leading into this dead end. So I'm gonna make a stop right about over here and... Oh, and this road is uh, one way. I wonder why is that? I kinda messed up over here, but um, it's fixed. Anyway, continuing this line, I'm gonna make a stop over here. I think I'm gonna make another stop over here. Another stop over here and another one connecting to uh, this um, tram stop and now we can pretty much come back by making a stop over here oh no i need to go this way so let's make a stop right about over here and another one over uh, here i guess and let's just connect back and i think we can even make an additional stop over here Okay, and now let's make a, a best line that covers this area. 
So I'm gonna start um, over here. And as you can see, we already have some buildings upgrading. It's amazing to see, though this one is under construction, but we have some of them going level 3 already. That's pretty awesome. Perhaps I can even um, give it a police station. I wonder if that will increase the land value. There's only one way to find out. Let's check this out. And yeah, I believe uh, I've seen some happy faces over there. Putting parks over here definitely seems like a waste of resources. Uh, what I can put, however, is some death care. Because when people die, they can pretty much die anywhere in the city. So I think I'm gonna provide a couple of crematoriums. Uh, maybe one over here and another one right about, um, let's see, maybe over here. Okay, and some more happy faces over there. Okay, and I've made yet some more modifications. I have deleted the segments of road that were connecting to this main avenue because they were creating quite a bit of traffic and I've also changed the directions of um, this, this, uh, these roads over here because most of them were one ways and I've converted them to normal roads which I believe are working uh, much more smoothly right now. I know that I have just spent a lot of time working on this area and I'm even going to work some more uh, in the next couple of episodes but uh, these actions were pretty much necessary because uh, they first and foremost uh, increase the land value of this location for industrial so we have a lot more level 3 buildings which provide jobs for highly educated workers as we can see each of these buildings provides spot for 12 highly educated uh, workers uh, this decreased the unemployment rate from 9%, that was a level that um, I was having when I started this episode, even though I didn't show it on camera, uh, all the way uh, up to 3%, which is pretty good. And that made so that the industrial demand uh, went as low as it seems right over here. So. In the beginning of the episode, we had this at about midway, and now it's almost uh, non-existent. So yeah, this is um, a pretty much uh, necessary detour that I had to make, but now that we have got that out of the way, we can focus on the main topic of this episode. Okay, finally, moving back to this location, let's see if we can uh, add a bit more development in this area. So I have zoned a lot of buildings over here and I think I'm even going to zone some more. Uh, let's see, I want to make a few more hotels uh, right about over yeah, over here, but I'm not going to zone them uh, right away because first and foremost I want to zone, uh, not zone, but I want to put some unique buildings uh, just to provide some more leisure to this area because, well, this is a leisure area nonetheless. I think I'm going to start with the spa hotel and I'm going to put it uh, right about over here in this uh, um, small block. The reason I'm going to do it is because it fits quite well and also because it has a small upkeep of 480. So I'm just going to place it right about over here. And that seems to be a very good location. I like it. Let's just dezone this unnecessary blocks and I know I've demolished quite a bit of buildings but that's gonna be okay because I am gonna replenish them all the way over here and I think that's gonna be more than enough what I also want to do is um, place another building over here and I think I'm gonna put this one the snow castle restaurant if you look at the height level of this building you can see that is pretty much the same height of the leisure buildings that are pretty much over here and that's pretty much a criteria that I use to know if a building will fit the thematic or not uh, because it's uh, pretty much the same height I don't think it looks out of place and therefore it will be an, um, a very good addition to this particular location or at least that's what I think I'm gonna finish up the zoning of this with some um, leisure buildings all the way over here, I like it and perhaps uh, I should let the game run 
and see how this area is affected with leisure but before that I think I'm gonna enable this fairy pier and I'm also going to make an additional uh, fairy line so let's see if I can find it okay it's over here and I'm gonna make a line that connects to this particular uh, fairy stop and I'm gonna make yet another line that connects let's see perhaps directly to the public transport hub so I'm gonna make it come all the way over here and we'll make it pretty much go back okay and finally I'm gonna make a bus line that will cover this entire area I am gonna make a line that connects the ferry stop or the ferry pier and another one that connects the uh, monorail station and finally we can just come back and we can make some stops um, as we go so perhaps I'm gonna make one stop right over here and another one over here and in fact I think I can even bring this line all the way over here to give it a bit more coverage all right and perhaps even another one over there okay before I resume the simulation I just want to beautify this area a little bit before I forget I want to transform this into uh, some roads with trees and I think I'm gonna turn all of this into roads with trees perhaps oh no this one uh, not this one uh, maybe let's see maybe this one over here okay and we can even turn this into an avenue with trees how about that and yeah now let's just uh, resume the simulation and see what's the leisure situation in this particular area all right guys this area is turning out beautiful i even see a lot of people using the ferries and then switching to the buses over here which is pretty amazing i even think i can make this area a bit better if i convert it into this um type of road let's see if i can do it this type of road over here another one over there so that we can create this crosswalk and then i will make uh, a pathway pretty much over here it doesn't look pretty but it, it will allow people to cross the road over here and then switch to this avenue without having to walk uh, this entire thing as you see these people doing it but anyway let's uh, check out the leisure situation it seems that uh, uh, it is working out pretty much as intended this area is almost um, completely blue I even think I'm gonna put uh, some kind of water park over here let's see what do we have well I have these fishing tour buildings that um, seems to fit pretty much uh, over here but uh, of course I cannot put it over here because this is a highway road so it will not give uh, road access to this park so I will have to put it right about at this corner so I'm gonna place it and see how it looks uh, first and foremost let's check the leisure and yeah it seems to have a pretty nice coverage everything became bright blue and um, yeah I think it looks good I think I'm gonna keep it and look at the amount of people using uh, the ferries that's, that's really nice we are not used to see quite a lot of people using ferries that's uh, extremely good to see uh, nobody is, is using this one oh actually we have some people but because this line is much longer which connects directly to the public transport hub it seems that people prefer some faster options but anyway this area will be a uh, pretty much a work in the future I will come back to it uh, I will want to definitely convert this area in the middle into a park just to uh, provide a bit more uh, decorative elements but given the fact that we now have a lot of demand for residential I think it's time for us to go back to our suburbs and finish what we started okay finally we now have some time to finish up the zoning of this particular district I first and foremost am going to delete this power line and I'm going to very quickly I zone this thing with the residential oh and by the way I completely forgot to zone this area but this definitely needs to be residential of course 
and uh, yeah, let's just uh, start zoning this. I want to put some houses over here, a few more houses over here as well, maybe some more over here, and I'm just zoning all of this, uh, which I probably shouldn't do, because uh, zoning too much residential all of a sudden is never a good idea, but um, I really want to get that population going, so let's just do it. I don't have a lot of demand for residential right now, but because I said I want to zone all of this and finish up this district, what I think I'm going to do is something that I don't recommend, which is zoning this entire area all of a sudden and then let it um, develop naturally as the demand goes up with time. Um, so that's something that I'm going to do right now. I'm going to keep zoning all of these uh, spots. Perhaps I can even... Yeah, we can zone over here. Just let a small gap in between these important buildings. I also want to zone all of this over here. I think this can be a small residential block. And yeah, let's just zone everything. I think I'm even going to select this tool and zone all of this with low density residential. And this particular area over here, this uh, dead end block, I am gonna make a special type of zoning which will be mainly composed of a two block buildings. So I have already prepared that when I was building this layout. As you can see, we have room for two block buildings in uh, most of locations. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna zone all of this with some um, low density two block buildings. And all of this will be residential and also over here as well make a few blocks over here as well and maybe we're gonna let this area blank for my custom park and put some buildings all the way around the district and perhaps we can put up the park that I was talking about let me see if I can find it here it is so I'm gonna put it right on this um, slot fits very nicely and now that we're at it I even think I am gonna make a pedestrian pathway I think I'm gonna select uh, the park pathway why not just to mix things up and connect it over there and I think it looks pretty good but anyway guys that's gonna be it for today I hope you have enjoyed this video we have made uh, quite a bit of progress in this episode Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get back to the amusement park, but that's something that will come in time. I hope you have enjoyed this video, if so, please consider giving it a like, it will help out my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the development of this city. If you have any suggestions for things that I should build in the future, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to connect with me online, don't forget to follow me on social media. Thank you so much for watching guys, and as always, have fun!